Okay, everyone, we just left Chicago. We are currently on our way to St. Louis, Missouri. Why, you ask? I can't tell you yet. As we get closer, I'll give y'all some hints. Look, this has me so spooked out. I don't know what it is, but it's co it covers all of this land. They're everywhere. See, they just keep flashing. It is so spooky. Morning, love. Good morning. It is now day two of our three-day Nickelodeon-themed adventure. What are we calling this? A vacation? Weekend getaway? I don't know. Anyway, it's Father's Day. It's Father's Day, so I want to say Happy Father's Day to myself and the, all the other fathers out there, like Doug Funny's dad, um, you know, Hey Arnold's dad. I'm glad they found him. And the rest of them. And to you guys, too. Anyway, we're checking a bit to tell you where we're going. Shirts of him. Wow, we're in St. Louis, and look at this. I guess he's famous for this arch, but this thing is massive. It's beautiful, too. I wish everything wasn't covered. There it goes. Look at it. Oh, my God. That thing is pretty. I want to stand in the middle of that thing. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, according to the GPS, we are here at the High Point Drive, and look at that spaceship hanging out. Look, oh my God, I can see it! <laughs> I see it! All right, all right, let me relax, let me relax. Is that a parking spot right Yeah. Oh my God! I see it. That. All right, y'all. Y'all see what I see? Do y'all see what I see? Oh, it look like it might be fun. All right, so we are here at the High Point Drive-In. This is their security car. I'm not sure if there's any significance to this, but this is the High Point Drive-In. It says, quality food? That cute looks weird. Then there's a cow up there and a burger, but that's not what we're here for. Not one bit. So we are inside the High Point Drive-In, and look who they got. Eddie Murphy from McDowell's, Coming to America. Employee of the Month, Akeem. Employee of the Month, Emily Lil Felon Killian. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, Employee of the Month, Michael Johnson. Again, not too sure. Employee of the Month, Radimus. Of course I know who that is. That's the chef from Waiting. And then we got Employee of the Month, Brad Hamilton. Not sure who that is either, truth be told. And employee of the month, Adam Pritchett. Again, no clue. But, this is Sauce Magazine with the owner on the front cover. I guess he's made a couple different publications. And the line is long, and it just opened like half an hour ago. Not even half an hour ago, so who must be delicious? And here they got a uh, Daddy, this is fried chicken nuggets, sauce and grape jelly, barbecue sauce, bacon sauce, and uh, I don't know, but they've got hats. It says they have teachers, but I don't see, oh, I see them here. Good shakes. Oh, that's Kel with his dreads. Look at him. Ah. Oh, that's him too. He's a good, he's a good, that's them in a the Good Burger car. Wow. Wow. It's the talking burgers from the movie. And that's Cal as an alien. I went to get a cup of soda and our food arrived. Look at it, it looks amazing. Yours looks much better than mine. <laughs> mine looks like a slider. But wow, this is the taco burger, but we're gonna pretend it's a good burger. These fries are seasoned, this looks good. Mmm, good, I'm good. I'm gonna eat more of those. Look at my burger! Yep. Oh my god, it really tastes like a taco. Oh my god, it got red fur lettuce, tomato, uh, corn chips, it really tastes like a taco. And their, their soda is made with pure cane sugar. All authentic soda, so good. Our root beer floats are here, and this cool kid just came up to me and showed me his SpongeBob vans. We have matching shoes. I got SpongeBob's house and he got SpongeBob and Pat. Oh my God, I'm breaking legs. Oh, he was so cute. But our root beer floats. 
I think this one's root beer, but I'm gonna have to drink both of them to check. This one might be cold. I can't stand him. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> this one's root beer, and it tastes so good. Look how huge it is. Oh, it's so good. And they got the blue burger car. Check it out. This is the real taste of the movie. Come on. Got a fresh fried bumper. Fresh fried bumper. A ketchup salad. Don't break it. <laughs> 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 From what I read, it actually works. Look at the sun. And all of this go further. That's so beautiful. Look at this yellow tape. Oh, it has French fry windshield right there. And a burger sun. Look, complete with headlights and everything. This thing actually works. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it was definitely worth the 20 hour trip. Yeah, have you added the four? Yep. 20 hours was beautiful. So here they have an article about the car and the owner. And there's some pictures. I'll be brief. It says, Mike Johnson, owner of the High Point Drive-In in St. Louis, loves a good, goofy purchase. But the chef and restaurant owner may have topped himself this week when he bought a 1975 AMC Pacer with a hamburger on his hood. The one featured in the 90s cult classic movie, Good Burger. The vehicle, which also features a crinkle cut bumper fry. Look at the bumper, crinkle cut bumper fry from before. Look at the whole car from before. And look at it now. What a beauty. It looks just like it did in the movie. So this home here, I feel like it's gone. It's close to, I don't know. Anyway, but look at the burger on the front. Oh man, that thing looks stale. And now look at it. Wow. Well, everyone, thank you for watching our vlog. Everything in me wanted to steal that car and take it for a joy ride. It's just so beautiful to get back into my car after seeing that one. It's just heartbreaking. But anyway, like, subscribe, leave comments, do all of that fun stuff. Help me get this page lit so that I can continue to show you guys new Nickelodeon stuff. We still haven't visited the Pineapple Resort in, in where is it, Punta Cana. Okay, there's still so much more stuff for us to do.